Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at Diana Shipping, ticker symbol DSX. Started looking at some of the financials. So we have a $373 million market cap, $857 million enterprise value. So a lot, a fair amount of net debt. It's in the marine transportation industry. It looks like they ship uh, commodities, multiple different types of commodities in the, through their 41 dry bulk vessels. Uh, 0.8 price to book, 5.6 price to earnings, and their dividend yield at 17.29%. That is a heck of a dividend. But looking at their financials, not confident already that it can hold since we're seeing negative earnings to 2018 where it was 10 cents and they're getting the loan is 60 cents right now. Um, very sporadic. Looks like somewhat consistent capital expenditures in the fact that it's more than <laughs> cash from operations. And then they had some devastations for 2018 to 2021, and then a huge amount of capital expenditures. So even though they had a good cash from operations, they had a huge capital expenditure or huge capital expenditures. Um, looks like, yeah, they're paying out a hefty amount on their dividend. Let's see. They can, I mean, here... Shipping's been really prominent since COVID, but if we look over here and we just assume capital expenditures instead of devastations, then yeah, it'd just be negative. So I'm just not entirely comfortable with this dividend by any means. I might have to cut it by it in cut it to 10 percent of what it is which would still be 1.7 percent which is something but and it just looks like there's more consistent business as businesses out there that i feel more comfortable with from this super high level view we'll obviously finish the assumption setting but for right now there's just a lot of assumptions i feel like that are going to need to be set so look at this, minus 26%, plus 7%, minus 10%, minus 27%, 41%, 39%, minus 2%, minus 23%. Extremely cyclical business. So for that, I will just do 0%. I'm going to say, you know what, it'll go down in the next, uh, I don't know when, I'm not going to guarantee anything, but it will likely go down sometime in the next seven years and then come up um, by the end since... Uh, I mean, the average market cycle is seven years, but the average of this cycle is whatever it is. So I'm basically just trying to think that although it might go down in the future, it will likely come up because it's a cyclical business. And um, I don't see any reason to deserve any sort of premium beyond no growth because I really don't think that they're growing much outside of acquisitions. And so... Um, I don't think there's really a need to provide a higher PE than 10, especially with people. People don't like companies where they don't know what's going to happen. Um, and even looking at a gross margin, which is supposed to be a very like consistent margin measure since it's just revenue minus cost of goods sold um, divided by revenue. So we have 8%, 4%, minus 14, minus 58, minus 15, 31, 30, 16, 43. I mean, it's, it's higher recently, which is good, but I mean, it, it's all over the place. So I can't really, can't really trust anything about that. So as for margins go, I mean, I might do five and 10%, 0% share change. I mean, I just, I have no idea. This is a company that I, I almost like just don't want to, don't want to buy it all just because it's, it's so cyclical, but the thing about cyclicality is that it can bring up very good prices when it's on the downturn of a cyclical event to where it's so attractive that you could be buying at 
what you believe to be something of like a three forward P um, which could bring a lot of upside since most people in the market are very short term oriented. And so I think something like that could be attractive, but for me right now with the assumptions I've set, um, you know, I'm just waiting for this. I don't think that dividend's secure because I mean, you can see they haven't had it for more than two years and it was 10 cents, 90 cents, not 60 cents. So I think once the poor part of the cyclical hits, it's just not going to be consistent. But um, I, hope, I hope everyone enjoyed the video and I hope everyone has a good rest of the day. Thank you.